Good morning folks and welcome. Uh, today we've got the uh, we've got the Danset Tempo. I've already done one of these but there we go. Right, well it won't need the uh, won't need the plug or the power lead upgrading because it's got a free core lead on it. Uh, let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. Right. Oh, this is not bad. This looks out. This actually looks okay. Yeah. Turntable's nice and free. And the automatic mechanism. Well, that's free. supposed to go down a bit quicker but no worry about that yeah yeah anyway yeah the rec scene on the sides here is a bit a bit bubbly we'll see if we can do something about that while it's in as well anyway yeah. screw that down so we can Remove it later. Right, get my bins on, soldering iron on, and move all this up here. Got isopropyl in that. This auto slim looks in nice condition, I'll say that for it. Yeah. We're looking at the usual we're looking at the usual amplifier work on this. Just trying to find the head of the screw. If it had airs around it, I'd have no trouble, would I, folks? Yeah, yeah. This is a this is an early sixties one because it doesn't have plus a gram house in the lid. Because dance sets, as we know, were made by plus a gram. They were later called dance sets on the suggestion, I believe, by BSR. But. They were all made at plus a gram house, which was later named renamed Dunset House. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Have a look at the cartridge. Yeah, it's a BSR one with a single sided stylus, and it's got the ubiquitous. Piece of blue tack stuck under the arm. I've seen it on a few uh, Phil's record players. Right, there we go. That hasn't been out for a long time. Whoops, that hasn't been out for a long time, that is for sure. Because, there we go. 
and there we have it. There, there look at this. Off cuts of Rexine look. It's actually an off cut of the grill. See look. I'll leave that in there. It's part of the, the history of it I suppose. If you want to say that. Right, well this is basically this is basically the same amplifier that's used in the Bermuda. Uh, using the EL84 valve uh, there's cobwebs in this a bit reminiscent of my underpants right so basically it's, it's basically a Bermuda right uh, let's see what we've got and see right, the best way of working on this one I'm going to have to disconnect the power lead from the circuit but we'll start by pulling the knobs off if I can get the knobs off if I can't I'll have to leave them on and unwire everything and to be perfectly honest, I don't fancy doing that, but somebody's already been in here anyway. That's not original. Uh, they've put new screened cable in. Because uh, that's too new. These wire, this motor, that's original obviously. This amp's in actually very, very good condition. It's not bad. I've seen worse. Um, so basically, what we'll do, we'll pull the amp out. Uh, no extension speaker on this. Uh, no, no input. No extra. But no, not much of anything extra on this to be honest. It's uh, yeah, it's very clean and very clean under here. Uh, this auto slim looks very clean, um, very dry as well, and a bit of plenty of dust. I thought it was corrosion. It's actually dust. Uh, that will respond well uh, to a clean and a lubricant. Anyway, <coughs> let's see about getting these knobs off. See if I can get the fuckers off. What I can do so I don't lose anything, which I don't anyway. But what I'll do, I'll throw it all back in the case what I've started doing from now on if a fucking screw rolls on the floor in here that's it you ain't getting that back it's gone uh, so really come off you bastard don't you dare come on don't you dare play up Come off the other one, did. Ooh, gotcha. And you got to be careful when you're doing this because you're dealing with you're dealing with original knobs. How long to do this fucking thing? You don't say how long these Bermuda amps. I mean, yeah, these. 
single valve amplifiers one valve wonders as they're known as very 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 basic very basic very basic very simple See, I can't lift the deck out until I've got the screws out because I want to lift all this motorboard and deck. And I want to leave the deck in the case until I'm ready to work on it. And I won't be ready to work on that yet. The deck's the last thing on my mind. First thing on my mind is getting... these controls out because I may as well get them out because I might even be able to do the work with the case on the bench if possible Yeah, it's been in a pretty good environment this actually. Don't know why it's slightly bubbling on the sides here. Ain't got a clue. But it's been kept. It's had the valve replaced, either that or it's got either that or it originally came with a yellow writing valve in it. There's a misconception about valves with yellow writing on and people think that they're uh, either better quality or worse quality or I've even heard them called military grade and medical grade and you name it, I've heard all the stories. But it's all a load of bollocks, what the real reason is. And anybody's welcome to dispute this and I'll still tell you you're wrong. Uh, the real reason... Is warranty because people were taking valves back five years after they'd used them because uh, all the valves had white writing on so of course what they did I'm not sure the year they changed the writing but they started putting the uh, they started putting yellow writing on the valves and the reason for this was so that you couldn't go back and say listen hey fuckface I bought this fucking valve off you and uh, you know it's burnt out and I've only had it two weeks because valves were only guaranteed for three months so to stop people taking advantage or oh, that, that rectifier is not very tight I mean they didn't put the rectifiers very tight on in these so, we need this top one out anyway so we can get the now we can take the wire now we can unwire the switch the, the power cable See, they just earthed the power cable to the volume control pot, which, you know, would never pass regulations today, but that's how it's going back on it, because that's how it was done, and it's been alright all these years, so I see no reason to not put it back the way it originally was. So... <coughs> Uh, let's 
try and get this fucking soldering iron round here, my lead's in the wrong place, there we go. Pulling the soldering iron shoe off the fucking table, off the bench. Right, let's get this. There you go, get that one off there. power lead out. Now untangled from there. Bloody hell. Look me. I need to sort this workshop. It's work after I've done this record player, I'm doing fuck all else to have sorted this workshop. This has been redone over by somebody in the last few years, I would think. If they're gonna go to the trouble of doing all this, you know, why don't they go to the trouble and recap the fucking thing? You know, why don't they recap it while they're at it? I mean, I hate I, I hate jobs that I've done. I mean. You know, people go into these, mess about with them. Would help if I disconnected the fucking speaker, wouldn't it? You know, they go into them. And then they don't bother to recap the fucking thing while we're in there, I mean. Fucking, I've got a fucking wire trap down here. Yeah, we're careful. It's something down there cuts through the fucking thing. Right, this is all getting sorted out later. This workshop, it's getting me on the fucking joke in here. Right. So. You can leave all the bits and. All the odds and sods and stuff in there, that's no problem. You can put this back down into where it lives. There we go. That can go in there for now. There we go. Nothing's going to come out of there, we're safe. Now. For those of you that think I've got nothing on, I have. I'm wearing me hipsters. Just that they've rolled halfway up me fucking leg. Right, right. Now, I've got a load of shit down here in front of me and it's difficult. But, right. Now, where's my bag of diodes? Where's me fucking bag of diodes? Let's see if they're up here somewhere. There they are. So let's prepare the components that we want for the job in hand. We want one diode. And for this particular application, I'm using 
Uh, is that a one or an I? I think it's a one N five four zero one, or is it a fucking I? That I don't fuck. I think it's an I in it. I I N five four zero one. That's what I'm using. I'm using it on all the dance sets. They seem to be happy with it. Uh, you can't use it everywhere, I don't think. Well, I suppose you could. I haven't found a place I can't use it yet. Right, so what we want here, we want a selection of high voltage capacitors, which we've got. Let's go into my. Uh, keep them on. Go into my. box and we need a tone capacitor to replace the one in the tone circuit there we go we've got that and also look folks I wish I could get out of this fucking habit of collecting shit right anyway uh, let's get out what we need, oops, so we've got our diode, got our capacitor for the tone, right, this should be the same value as all the fucking rest of them, it should be a 32, a 16 and a 25. Well, the fucking values disappeared off that fucker. Why am I not surprised? It's a cunts. Anyway, they usually are. So we want we want a thirty-three. We want a twenty-two. We don't want a 47 and we want a 25. Now where's me fucking 25s? These are me 25s? Yeah, they're me 25. Oh. Uh, yeah. 25 at 25 volts. I'm not putting a 22, I'm not putting a fucking 22 in. A fucking, uh, I'm not putting a fucking 22, I'm not putting a 22 in at fucking 400 volts where it only wants to see 25. Not doing that. That's a waste of a capacitor. 22 UF. At 25 volts. There we go. That is all the part, that, that is... All the components needed unless we have to change any resistors. So we've got four capacitors. Let's so start by removing the valve. Put the valve away for safety. Put the valve up here, uh, put the valve there. At the side there. Alright there. Uh, take the valve clip off because it will only get in the fucking way make a nuisance of itself. We'll put that up there out of the way as well um, What else right the First of all we'll start with removal of the rectifier we will start by doing the rectifier first so we'll take the yellow wire off here there we are get the sucker where's the sucker so we can have a nice clean hole if you're going to have a hole, folks, it may as well be a clean one. Right, so what we need to do is 
get that get in there so get that solder sucked out beautifully and go into this one lovely there we go that's me solder sucked out put my diode in Right, I need this yellow wire because I need to because that yellow wire goes up to the metal rectifier and we can get rid of that fucking yellow wire now. That yellow wire ain't fucking needed. Which is that one. We'll just pull that straight through and straight out. And the red wire, which goes to the transport, which goes to the rectifier, we can snip that because we don't need fucking a good portion of that as well. Because I'll just coarsely snip it for now and I'll neaten it up. Right, we can now get rid of the old rectifier. And what's the odds I can undo this with my fingers? Oh, not this one. Usually get them. Let's get the old. This one will need to go back in because it holds the bulb. In fact, what I might do actually, I might leave this rectifier in it holds the bulb so uh, means I would have to find a short or nut and bolt so what we'll do we'll just snip the just snip the wires off it leave this one in there we go we'll give it the arm in there it just means that we don't have to fuck about now what time is it I don't fucking know what the time is. Do I really care what the time is? What's this value capacitor here? 25 volt, 390. I don't know what that's doing out. Must have had a use for it the other day. Anyway. <coughs> so what, what I like to do with these Bermuda amps... I like to feed the I like to feed the diode in like that look. Because it does a really makes a really nice neat job. And then we need to find some solder. I'm out of the really good stuff that I had off J ages ago. I'm on the other stuff now, which is not bad, but use more of it because it's fucking thinner. I mean this stuff's not too bad. But has a smell all its own as well. I mean, this stuff's not too. I don't have to anchor it at both points. I just do because I think it looks neat. But that means use more of it. There we are. Right. I mean it. It makes a nice joint actually, it's actually quite a good solder, it's just very very thin. So we're not going to connect that up yet because that red wire is going to go to that. And it will go to it nice and neatly here with some heat shrink. Because I'll trim this here. Anyway, before we do that, we can't even think of doing that yet. Oh no. Ow! That fucking diode's red hot. Screwdriver fit there? No, it fucking doesn't. Don't you just like it when you haven't got the fucking right tool for the job? Fucking brilliant, isn't it, eh? I've got a tool here that works on every job. This is this is actually this this is actually the data approved number five computer hammer. Yeah. Yeah, that 
that's because the driver gets them. Lovely. Yeah. Well, I've sold my record player that I did the other day, my Ultra. Well, I think I have. It's supposed to be a guy coming for it today. Whether he turns up is another fucking matter. But yeah, I wanted 50 quid for it, but... He managed to chip me down. He wanted to chip me down a fucking tenner, the cheeky fucker. That weren't fucking happening. Won't give a fuck. Fucking deck was worth more than a tenner. You know, people don't fucking understand, do they? The work you put in. Then, you know, you're trying to get something back out of it. They don't want you to get anything back out of it, do they? You know, you fucking mention it. You want fucking a certain price. You don't want to fucking pay it. Why is it people will argue with me? For the price of a record player, yet when they go in fucking Sainsbury's or wherever, they don't argue about paying for their fucking milk. It's the same fucking difference, I'm afraid. You know? I mean, I didn't mind... I didn't mind knocking a fiver off. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I'd like to get a full 50 quid, but... I didn't mind knocking a fiver. I didn't mind coming down by a fiver, but I weren't coming down by a tenner. I will not give a fuck. They kept a fiver. Oh, they kept the fucker at that rate. You know. There we go. Keep all them there. But they kept the fucker at that rate because it wouldn't have been fucking worth it. You know, fucking... You know, people just want you to do... You know, they don't want to give you anything for your stuff. I mean... It's fucking unreal, really. I mean, this this board is a multi-use board. This is a 14-3 amplifier. And it uses the same board as all the fucking rest of them. More or less. I mean, this could have a metal, this could have a valve rectifier in it. Because it's got a valve, it's got the place for the valve socket, so you could put an EZ80 in this. But, we're not going to do that. Are we fuck? No way. No sirree, Bob. Uh, we're fucking just looking around, find all of the ground points. This is one way you have to fucking loop all the fucking ground points together. Start by fucking. Start by getting the fucking main pins unsoldered. Do 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 do. Ooh, I thought I'd have got that on the first go. I didn't. Ooh, didn't get that fucker either. Let's give that another suck. Oh shit. Give that another suck. Well, that got it. I mean. You gotta be careful with these old boards because the fucking the pads just come off the fuckers for fun. So we're undone there, we're undone there. Gotta loop all the fucking gun off to loop that fucker there, fuck all goes to it. But to get off the one here fucking oh god you got that one do do so th these must be your three main capacitors here that's ground so we've got we've got that 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 got that one there to get which I'm gonna leave till last Get this fucker here. Because that one won't come out with a sucker, that last one there. That one there won't come out with a sucker. Too much surface area. Right, so let's see if that old budge. Yep.
Bloody hell. Now. There we are. Oh, we got that out with uh, minimum of fuss and we didn't damage any pads. Lifted the ground pad here, but that's no problem. Uh, let's test this and see what it reads. So it should be 1625, and the reservoir, which is the main one, is 32. And they need to be rated at 75 volts and 25 volts. <coughs> so let's get the capacitor tester down. Oh, I'll just kick one of my milk tins over. I've got some really old milk tins. I've got them off my mate Mike. Uh, uh, Oster milk tins are probably fucking worth a couple of quid actually, but I use them for, for proper record decks up. It looks like it's going to be a nice day today. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good if we actually get a bit of sunshine for a change, folks? Instead of the fucking shit we usually get. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice, eh? Let's test this capacitor and see what it fucking manifests. It is a hunt one, so I don't have any great expectations. Although you never know. So, doesn't matter what we clip on to because we know what the values should be. 17.98. That's on the 16 microfarad. That's not bad. 32.69. Oh, that's pretty bang on. And let's go for the 25 volt, 25 one. Oh no. Uh, the uh, one of them's reading 38, and the other one's reading what? So we're a bit high there as well. So. I change them anyway. I change them anyway. But before I discard that, let me first look up. I always like to check. The square is thirty two. The circle uh, the triangle is 16 and the circle is 32. So let's try our new capacitors. These either read either a little bit a little bit up or down uh, these because they're not uh, you know twenty nine point six one. Good enough. Thirty two, that's on only reads a little bit off, that's near enough bang on. And the twenty nine is actually the twenty two and it needs to be twenty five, so we're alright there, we can live with that. Oh, and that one's 22. <clears throat> oh, sorry, we want 16 on the 29, but that'll be okay. So what we do now, we connect <laughs> our lives together, and the way I like that, our neg negatives together, and the way I like to do this, And I've only got uh, I've only got two negatives to loop to loop here. Uh, this one here. Oh no, one, no two. Uh, yeah, because it went in. It went in that way with the widest end towards me. The three capacitors there. 
Yeah, there are your three capacitors. Blob, 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 and that's the ground. So that's how we do. So what we do, we link. Just link this ground to this ground. That's all we do with that. And what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll put the capacitor in that ground there. And uh, I think I will anyway. What I do when I what I do when I make the capacitor 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 what I do when I make the capacitor up I bend the shortest and the thinnest lead around the thickest one and just wrap it round and then just get it where we want it to be there we are. Take our solder, there we go, solder that together, that's lovely, might, look, might not look like there's much on there but trust me folks, there's enough on there to get the job done, that's our two capacitors together our reservoir and our filter I presume could be the yeah. oh shit I nearly cut the fucking lead off luckily I haven't gone through it nearly cut the fucking lead off there we go now what we do next so we want to connect so the 32 is the square, yeah, no, no, sorry, yeah, 32 is the square, so the square goes, let's find the, the square, is this one here, yeah, Make sure we're fucking right because it's fucking. I like to be certain. So, what we'll do, we just. Yeah, the square. That one there. And the triangle is 16, which is right opposite the square. So, because I, 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 I want to put this in. I want to put this in in a way where it looks right. So, do 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 do. So, and that's your 25 there. So, right. Right. The only problem with these is, is you can't really get them flush because the size of the fucking capacitors to be honest. I mean, and I'm going to leave them like that and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want them to look fucking decent. There we go. So we'll solder. Just make sure we've got that the right way around. Values that is, not capacitance. No, we haven't. Oh. So I'm going to have to put the negatives through this hole. Right, so let's go around. So we want the 22 on. So we want the. F Fuck me. 33. We want the 33. Oh, 
that's it. I was hoping, I was hoping I could have done it the other way, it would have looked neater. Anyway, that's actually that's looking nicer actually. It's you can see it's actually gone in better. Gives you more room. That's got them nice and flush to the board to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's way better. Right. There we go. Right, well I won't solder the ground in yet because I need to poke the other capacitor through. Which is this well I can actually I can because it can go it can go there. So I can solder the ground up. There we go. Make a nice neat job of this. Everything so it looks. There we go. Make it so it looks good. The only thing is, I hope I don't have to replace that fucking resistor because I'm going to have an hard time getting to it. See if I can just move these over a bit away from that resistor. Yeah, I can probably just get that out if I had to. I'm hoping I don't. But, like everything else, it'll be tested, and if I deem it unsuitable, it'll be coming out. I can just get in to get it out and just get in to get a replacement in, so we're okay. <clears throat> right. Next one is the 25 microfarad. 25, 22 microfarads, sorry, 20, 20, 25 microfarads at 22 volts. And that goes in to these two here. Uh, that's, your, that's your negative, so that goes in, that's your negative to one there. Yeah, get it right, and this one fits neat, neatly in. There we go. There we go. Bend that over. Bend that over there. That's good enough. Then all I have to do is just link the two grounds together. If you don't, the amplifier won't work properly. There we go. That's it. Ensure that we are correct. We are correct. Now, snip the That's the wires. Don't need them now. There we go. Excess wires. Right, and what we need to do next, we need to connect this ground here to this ground here. But there again, we don't, you know, because we don't, you know, because the chassis will do it. Because the chassis bolts on, the chassis bolts on here, here, and here. So we don't have to loop it. Because the fucking sh the metal chassis does that. You know? But saying that. You know, would you really want to trust? <clears throat> would you really want to trust it to the chassis? You wouldn't really, would you? Let's, let's link it. All right. So what we can do, we can put some solder. Where's my solder? 
I'm going to make myself, oh it could turn out to be a beautiful day folks, the sun's shining. Yes, it's going to be a really, really bright day. Thank you for that, we're getting some decent weather. I remember when I went to see that film, Rain Man. I was dead disappointed. Michael Fish wasn't even fucking in it. Right. So what we'll do, we'll... Link that there and uh, want to just go to there, really. No further than that, so we'll chop it there. Make myself a coffee in a minute. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Right. Just check. That is the one that we go to. So there we are. Right. This this one here didn't matter because it doesn't go anywhere. Just to support the can. Right, no we do, just took that over there out of the way. There we go folks. One neatly, one neatly ground loop, one neat ground loop. So what we'll do next, we'll replace the tone resistor. Uh, sorry, the tone capacitor. Which it, <coughs> which is this one here. Do 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 See if we can do it without having to fucking move that wire out of the way. So don't melt that wire. See if we can do it. There we are. I've got that out. Not too much trouble. Now, let's see if we can get it out of here. Let's take this red wire off because this is the HT. There we go. I don't know why the what they've done, they've fucking looped to lead a right round right round which is stupid there we go now let's put our new okay that, that stayed molten that long I was actually able to get the fucking capacitor lead through. Ow! So what we're going to do next? Piece of heat shrink. Down onto the 
wire and then I'll lift Fall back, oh you fucking lousy twat. Fucking fell out. There we go. <sighs> do 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 do. Solder that into place. And this one, I'm not bending that right round like they did it, it looked horrible. I'm just fucking soldering it to there. to solidify, which it has. Snip that. Right, and now what I'll do, yeah, just give that a little, take some off that because and put some new stuff on because I'm not completely happy with that. I just wanted to get the other side of the capacitor in first. that back in there we are nice fresh blob of solder on that sure both wires are soldered. They are. Right. Test the resistors. This one should be 120 k 120 ohms.
coming in at 185 so we'll replace that we'll have a cup of tea first and this one should be I think 33 ok Stay, that's pretty much okay. So we just need to replace that fucker. Yeah, because that's coming in at a fucking 180 ohms. It should be 120 ohms, that bastard. Have we got the 120 ohm ones out? Or have we put all the resistors back? I've got a tray of resistors out, but I don't know whether it's the one I want. But there is a tray out here somewhere. I hope it's not the one I want really, because I can't fucking find it. It's here somewhere. Uh, there it is. What's this one? No. No, they're not. That's not the one I want. But Right, so yeah, one eight seven. Yeah. Anyway. Colour are we there? Brown, brown. It's hard to fucking work them out because they're fucking dirty. Uh, brown, blue, brown. Yeah, I have to check it on me, what do you call it? On my calculator. I'm used to these colour codes, I can't, you know. I don't even think about them. I've got to, I've got to finger check them on there. I don't even think about them, folks. Hi and welcome back and uh, yeah right now what we need to do next is we need to solder this wire back on there we go alright now we also need to replace this resistor it should be a 120 but looking at the circuit there's not really much uh, looking at the circuit you can actually you know it ranges uh, some of the you know it can be anything from 100 upwards so they weren't really that particular but uh, this one's reading well above what it should There we go. Push that leg back down. There we go. Shut up. Now let's get this resistor out. One side, I think the other side might be done. Yeah. Scraps! So 
So we'll get this out. According to the circuit for this particular model number of amp, there we go. Just pop up there and get a resistor. What, what resistors have I got here? 3k to 4 no, way too high. So we don't need them ones. There is a 3k in there, but it's 3.3, it's coming at 3.5, so that's okay. Alright. And we want It doesn't have to be exactly 120 ohms because it can be as low as 100 for this circuit. Suckers out on motorbikes, folks. I'm afraid. Noisy bastards. Yeah, yeah that one might do it. I think that's a hundred ohms. That one ain't. Where's that one I just had in my fucking hand? It fell down the bottom here somewhere. You cut. There it is. What's this one? 100 ohms. That'll do it. Do, 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 do. Solder that, then we can put the circuit board back onto the chassis, and that's the car that done. Once we snip the lead out wires off, that is. Cut it as close to the board as possible. There we go. 
Alright. Alright. That's the amplifier finished, more or less. <coughs> So I put a piece of wire in there, we didn't have to really because it's isolated by the it's connected by the transformer and by the chassis, but I put a piece of wire in anyway. Because at least that way it's a proper solder connection as well. Now let's try and get this round here. There we go. Getting these in there's a bastard because whoops because you have to try and get your finger down there. You have to get your finger in. Oh it's got the date on the bottom of this. 1963. 31st of December 1963 so this was made on the last day of 1963 so it was dated so they had people actually working in Danset on, on fucking 31st of December well the 31st of December was New Year's Eve wasn't it so they were actually open New Year's Eve making these things just shows done it folks you know we do actually we did actually have a time when people weren't scared of going to work, how times have changed. Which in the fucking hole? Would help us in the fucking hole, wouldn't it? That's it. Trouble is. Oh, yeah, fucker. Well, what I need to do is pull this out slightly. Slide that over it. Hold that like that. Oh, we're in. Hold that there. There we go. And I think that's mainly the main reason for uh, doing it the way I'm doing it is because it's putting a piece of wire in as well because you can't rely on getting a good connection. So that's another good reason for putting a, putting a wire in.
Come on, you come. There we go. The other one on. Click you heard was actually the spring clip, not the board cracking or anything. There we go. That's it. Now we need to connect the recce to fire. Let's get a piece of brief piece of each shrink. to here, leave a bit of leeway so there's a bit of giving the wire, I don't need that big long piece of diode so we can snip. Where's me? There it is. And we use a full piece. And take that under there. Bring it round. Solder that together, bring it back a little bit, there we go. Let's make sure there's no sharp points. Oh, lovely. There we are. I apologise for the camera jiggling there. The, in fact, I can unplug that now. The tripod, tri the tripod, has charged up. There we go. Add the wobble. Right. Break these two off here, just to be safe. Should be able to just snip them. I'm leaving the rectifier on because of the bulb holder. these tabs off there we go put the tags off right right and this is the speaker wire and that's your capacitors that's all done that resistor there's okay that capacitor has been replaced a new one right so
Right, uh, we'll call this part one, folks. Yep, well, I've got a, what do you call it here? I've got an eyelet, you know. I might move the earth wire because I've got these eyelets. So, you know, I might put these in. Move that earth wire and make it ultra safe. So, that's that to be considered. Mm. Right, where's the valve clip? Give the valve clip a bit of a clean. Just get your Stanley blade on it and just. if it goes in the bottom two or the top two we'll soon find out if it doesn't fit in one it'll fit in the other right let's pop our EL84 made in Great Britain ain't great anymore is it It's a good valve socket that. Yeah, it goes in the bottom one, holds it nice and snug. Recky is in. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't clean the controls because I'm an old control cleaner. But there we are folks. That that is part one of the dance at tempo. Well, I'll tell you what, no, we won't call that part one. I may as well continue. For the, for the amount of time it's going to take to put the amp back in the case, I may as well put it in. And then I can do the deck, do the deck and the test as part two. So, yeah, that's the way to do it, as they say. So. <clears throat> Bring our dance at tempo back up. There we go. I can't believe how clean the deck is in this. It's nice. Put the resistors over there so they don't end up on the floor. Let's lift this out. we've got an earth up here that wire was for, for an overwind to probably power valve eaters or something anyway everything we need to look at this fluff fluff right let's get the let's get the amplifier back in let's untwist all these wires should go in with no messing about. It's upside down. Hmm. What I'd like to do is put them wires 
that's the rectifier so I'm just going to just take the rectifier back off a second so I'll get the wires down the side there so they're not stuck up and look better get them down there out of the way So we have the rectifier wire back on. There we go. Right, so we want one, two, three. Four screws for the controls. Hey Mildred! Hello Andrew. Hello Mildred, how are you? Alright, listen, you know that record you bought off the cartoon on Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, which one? That fucking advertising one. That KTL one, yeah. You want another one? Yeah. Right. It's got a blue label, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I picked it up and I thought, I'm fucking sure that's the one, like the one he bought. I'm fucking lovely. Anyway, I got it. I bought it. I didn't pay money. It'd be fucking peanut, really. Because I got ten red cards for a pound. Right. So, you know what I mean? I thought, well, I'll just have a look at it. It's a big thing. Tell on it. You know what I mean? And I think you did on the bottom of it. Hey, I put it on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, tell you what, it's not in bad nick, <laughs> Well, it won't be. Who the fuck's going to play that? Well, who's going to fucking want it? Well, well, the only reason why I, I have it is because I know YouTube won't pick it up on the copyright. Yeah, well, you know, and, and, and I just thought... I just thought it'd be a bit of fun as well, Mildred, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yourself like you, don't it? Fuck up, cheeky bastard. Hey, no guy cock up your ass. He's got a fucking ball like a fucking eight barrel cannon. You come with all the bastard units. Oh, by the way, you're on video. By the way, you're on video. You cunt. Well, good about your ass, not my car. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. Do you want to know? I'll fuck it, I'll have it for a bit of a laugh. I wasn't at a charity shop today, and I bought some less hours than that. Right. Yeah, yeah no, I don't want to. I've got some bunnies, I've got some cookies, do what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to find out where it would be better than the one I've got, or it's fucking worse, you know what I mean? Yeah, did you manage to find that one you were after? Right. Uh, and the, the, the Ray Sayers, the Ray, Ray Sawyer's one, was sung by him when he wasn't with Dr. Hook. Right. And I did get it because we thought about what well, I paid for a coffee three and a half quid. Right. She, she, she went on his website to get the actual record, so he let her have it. So Bing Bay, but she got it in actual website, you can get it off him, and you'll probably get him to sign it if you want to sign it. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's one of them, so. 
Yeah. 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 He's solo. Uh, there's a couple of others I'm still looking for. I've got one bid on third finger left hand. I don't know if you've got that, have you? Third finger left hand? Yeah, it's... Uh, Ma Martha, and, Martha and the Vandellas, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Martha and the Vandellas, yeah. Yeah, I think I've got third finger left hand somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's not actually, it's the, Tam the Tamla Motown one. Tamla Motown, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which, to all intents and purposes, is soul. Yeah, 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 he's been and gone. I tried to flog him in the music centre while he was here, but he was having none of it. <laughs> well, actually, he didn't say no. He said he'd think about it. But he probably only said that just to get away from me. Yeah. You know. He was local, Hey? He Yeah, I think he was Manchester or Stockport somewhere. Yeah, he wasn't far away. Yeah. Just said to him now that it's want to buy some black wheels to play on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's got plenty. He's got he's got plenty of records. He he came he came he came in. He says I've got a he said he says I've got a dance set. He says I've got a dance set Viva. Yeah. I just turned around and said, Yeah, the shit. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on a minute. Yeah, Graham, I've got something for you, by the way. You better have Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you hear that? I hear it. I tell you what, it's because you'll be down there and smell through these bones, you dirty bastard. Yeah. Hey, I'd love to have smelly phone, you know. You were? A smelly phone? Yeah, you know hey, do you remember when they tried it in the cinemas? Hey, could you imagine if they did? If, could you imagine if they did that in the cinemas and you went to watch Blazing Saddles? Fucking you know, hell, first thing people sat there when they're all eating the beans. Yeah, they sat there farting. What? It's fucking it. You know that record? One cigarette between two. Who's the finger of it? Fuck knows. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. One cigarette between two? That'd be by yeah. a couple of beggars in Stockport, wouldn't it? Probably will, do not it? Probably by Ember Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to start this fucking thing out. Okay. Uh, I'll speak to you later or whatever. Uh, see you later, Mildred. Right. Well, Big Gallimore's back. How do you know? Oh, right, he's back then, isn't he? Yeah, well, my missus said we're open, I did. Right. right. All right, then, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. That was Mildred. I'd better put my phone on charge. Uh, I notice it's running low on power. It does when you're talking to Mildred. It gets exhaustive. Yeah. Could you imagine that, folks, going to the cinema to watch Blazing Saddles? And they had uh, they had smelly vision, you know, you could smell it. Oh, it would be horrible, wouldn't it? Ooh. Yeah, okay, whatever. Every time I plug my phone in on charge, it tries to get me to buy another product. Don't ask me fucking why. Is this going to be a pain in the ass and keep falling off the screw? I wasn't even on the hole. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have trouble getting any fat of the hairs around it, would I? Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking of changing the format in which I do videos. I'm thinking of moving to Betamax. <laughs> Or beta max, as the Americans call it, because they can't fucking say the word beta. Yeah, I'm wondering, you know. I wonder if old Trumpy Bum gave May a service while she was here. Good scene, too, while he was here. Because let's face it folks, if anyone needs a right good fucking it's Theresa May. Oh, just got to get this one in this not all the way in. Of course I knew that, obviously. That's why I'm back on it again to tighten it. Yeah, so I got rid of my record player. Lovely. The guy who bought it is very happy. I hope I can get in there with the fucking wires. All fucking back in now. Hope I can get down there. Yeah. Yeah. Shift this fucking. There we go. There we go. Wow, come here, bass. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah. Someone says to me today, what's your pet hate? I says carrots. I says carrots? I says, yeah, up his fucking arse, he fucking hates it. Give that a second to solidify. Yeah, we're on there now. Solder the black. Oops. Second. Now, getting down to the fucking other one might be the problem. The fucking live. I should have put these on before the fucking. 
left alive. There he is. Ow! Ah, oh, I burnt my fucking hand. I fucking think that's bent over here now. No, it's not it's straight. It's just a matter of shift that fucking good fucking input. Shift that fucking input out of the way. Ow! Oh, I've got, got myself in the same place again. You shit when that happens. I'm not okay, if I'm not okay I'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay with that. So you find a fucking nut that was on that. Well, everything came off and went into here, so. There it is. That could take some fucking getting down into there. Can you get them ones down? No. Uh, where's the thin pliers? There they are, the green ones. Yo, we're not quite on there. And it's just hanging on, it's going to drop off. Where's the screwdriver? Fucking little yellow screwdriver, where is it? There it is. See, I can hold that there now. smaller screwdriver really. Right, well that's in there anyway so so if I just, just put 
push that down now, I don't even need to hold that. Yeah. That guy who bought me Ultra was really happy with it. And I hope it provides him many years of service. See, that's the only reason why the rectifier was left in. Come on. You try it. There we go. That's it. So that's the power cord soldered back in. That's all that done. Let's pull that up here because I just think putting it that way around would be better. Right. Right, that's that. Or would it be better going around the other way? No. Right. Getting there, folks. Oops, got the screw. There we go. Make sure the jumps lined up with the holes. Oh, you could. Where's that fucking screw gone? What I'm thinking of doing folks, I'm thinking of actually getting an etching kit and hetching one of these boards. Just see if I can improve the amplifier. I mean, these use a metal rectifier, well now this one uses a silicon rectifier, but given that they don't use a valve, there's an extra space on the board in these to solder a valve socket. So, I might hetch a board just for the hell of it, populate it and see. See if I can 
improve it, you know, add an extra valve. You can put an extra valve in there, just so you just have to move the HT feed wire. You just have to move the, not the HT feed, the tone wire from the tone control. You just have to move that and the tone capacitor. Move that somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, well that's all done. Well, it's not quite hot, but I've got to solder the speaker back on. Solder the speaker back on. Ow! Fucking got myself again. There we go. Right. We're going to have a piss and then we'll come back and we'll test it. Hey folks. And we're back. And uh, Right, let's see what kind of waveform we get. I'm putting three volts into it at one kilohertz, uh, one thousand kilohertz. Now look at that. That is as clean as. Ooh. That is as clean as a whistle, that in it, folks. Uh, that's, that's the volume about halfway. So let's. Uh, let's put it on to. That's two volts. And that's one volt. And that's nothing. And look at that. Perfect. Right, let's turn it. There we go. Three volts. There we are. <coughs> <coughs> Turn the instruments off. I would say. That is a success. Move to a bigger one of them, get my clip off. There we go. Right.
Right, so. Join me for part two. I'll just zoom back out. Join me for part two. When we will. Just bring you back down. You can see the top of my head. Join me for part two when we'll be putting the when we'll be servicing the the Gallard Auto Slim from this unit. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now.